Welcome back to SUV TV's coverage of Holiday Hoops Giving 2017. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia, on the campus of Holy Innocence Episcopal School as the Charlotte Christian Knights, hailing from Charlotte, North Carolina, travel down to Atlanta to take on the host school, Holy Innocence. Holy Innocence, tough loss yesterday against Eagles Landing Christian. Played competitively, but just couldn't quite put it all together, losing 68-63. They were led by Matthew Meadows, 23 points. Josh Smith had 15, and the freshman, Garrison Powell, had 12. Powell came into yesterday's game averaging 18 per. So Elka did a nice job slowing him down, and Charlotte Christian will start with the ball. It's in the hand of Garrett Schrader. Now it's up top with J.C. Therrington. Therrington, a big-time recruit, will be calling his name all night. They go inside to Ifasa, and Ifasa shot no good. Ifasa... Idu someone. His last name will go with Ifasa for this broadcast, make everything run a little bit smoother. They go inside and lay up left hand good by Garrison, Garrett Schrader. And the Knights get on the board first here as they'll start. Man to man defense here for Charlotte Christian. And we're going to have an early foul call going against Charlotte Christian. And in front of us, you can hear Holy Innocence coach Adrian Collins. We're right by their bench, so you'll be feeling like you're in the action all day. Three is good for Holy Innocence. No foul called there. Coming the other way. To the trailer layup, good. Number 32 on the finish. The big man, Preston. Pearson with the finish there. Pearson starting today, didn't start yesterday. Three for Therrington, no good. Rebound hauled in by Ifasa. They go right back inside to Preston. He kicks it out, nice look. Three ball, Charlotte Christian falls. That's Ifasa for three. Nice look by the big man. Spin move by Smith, nice take and finish. Two points for Smith, we mentioned he had 15 yesterday. Going back inside to the big man, can't get it to fall. Nice rebound by McPherson. Other way, they're gonna get a travel called on the freshman, Garrison Powell. Charlotte Christian comes in 2-0 on the season under 17th. Season head, excuse me, under coach Sean Brown in his 17th season, 372 and 157 in his career. And we're gonna have a push call. It'll be offensive foul. A little too aggressive there from Garrett Schrader, the 6'5 junior inside. Crossover by Smith, kick out to the corner, three strong. Rebound is going to go to Charlotte Christian. That three was off the hands of Alex Hyatt. Here, Coach Collins driving to the basket. Makes a fair point. Up top, it's Therrington with the ball. They get it to the elbow. Nice drive through contact. Nice finish by the big man. Oh, 
Layup, follow, good. Nice follow by the big man, Blake Preston, his second rebound. Excuse me, first rebound, second bucket. Hey, let's go, Hawk. Hey, we need to be in pit immediately. Hey, we're in pit against the zone, Red. Hawk, run hard. Ball with Hyatt, and on the wing, splits the double attacks and tried to drop it off to McPherson. And coach wanted him to take that himself. Nice job splitting the double. Just trying to do a little bit too much. Turns it over, it'll go to Charlotte Christian. Three, four, Charlotte Christian, no good. Rebound to Garrison Powell. He gets it poked away from behind. Now he corrals, pulls up from the elbow, too strong, rebound to the big man. Preston, 6'9", senior floater goes for number 21, Seth Bennett. His first bucket of the game and it's 13-7 lead for Charlotte Christian here four minutes into our opening quarter. And Coach Collins wants to use an early timeout, and we'll take that early timeout with him here on Holiday Hoops Givens coverage on SUV TV. The 2017 Holiday Hoops Given is brought to you by Adidas, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Stat Row. Atlanta Tip-Off Club, and CBA Sports. Stat Row showcases youth sports highlights and gives a portion of its revenue back to teams. Visit statrow.com today to learn how your team could partner with Stat Row. So coming out of the Holy Innocence timeout, they'll trail them by six, okay. looking to put together a nice set here. We'll see what Coach Collins has drawn up. They get to the senior, Matt Meadows. Now it's over to Josh Smith, and a foul is going to be called on number one. That's Garrett Schrader. Paul Hudson's wearing number four. Excuse me for that confusion earlier. And Smith will bring the ball in bounds, and he gets it briefly to Powell. He tracks it down, tips, so there'll be no over and back. The freshman Garrison Powell held in check yesterday, but he can be explosive. And they kick it out, Wilson, top drives, pass was deflected, and it's gonna be a turnover. Justin Wilson, the freshman, looking to make a pass on that one. And we're gonna get a travel called. And checking in the game now for Charlotte Christian, number 11, Luke Dress. Dress a 6'3 sophomore. Get the ball back. Hey, go corners. They're in the zone. Pit, pit, pit. Wilson with the ball up top to zone. Come on, set it, Alex. A little bit of a 3 2 zone out of Charlotte Christian. The Holy Innocence keeping the ball on the perimeter. Finally getting someone to the elbow. It's high at pull up three. Meadows corner. Good. Matt Meadows, give him all three of those. That's one way to beat the zone. Have some zone busters around the perimeter. Baseline drive, falls away. Nice save by Ifasa. Saves it into the hands of Seth Bennett. Now Bennett over to Therrington. Therrington goes inside. Preston kick out, Therrington three. No good, nice ball moving, offensive rebound. And we're gonna have a foul called underneath. Josh Smith fouls on the way up and it'll send Ifasa to the line for two.
Don't watch the ball, fellas. Coach Collins pleading to his boys to box out and grab those rebounds. Can't be giving up second chance opportunities. Second game in a row where Holy Innocence is a little outmatched in the size department. They'll have to battle with 6'9", 6'5", 6'5", and a couple 6'3 guys inside. Holy Innocence only boasts one player over 6'6". Josh Smith trying to attack. Going baseline, got himself a little trouble and stepped on the inline. So turnover there for Holy Innocence. It's been a little bit of a sloppy start for the Golden Bears, but only down four. 14-10, under 10 minutes to go here in the opening quarter. 2-3 zone out of Holy Innocence. Travel called on Therrington. We've had a couple turnovers here early. And of the unforced variety, Travel stepping on the inlines. And a long pass almost turned over. It's going to stay towards Holy Innocence. Checking in the game, Todd Enos at 6'6". We just talked about him. And the or excuse me, the senior, Will Domikic. Pull up by Powell. High arc it off the backboard. No good. Rebound pulled down, stolen by Wilson. Looks back to Powell, and I think he traveled. And he did, so another tough turnover. Seth Bennett pulled down that rebound for the Knights, and then Wilson stole it away, and Garrison Powell just a little antsy on that layup attempt. Good ball movement around the perimeter. Farrington up top with it, looks inside. Kick out, three, good. Great ball movement there by the Knights and three points for Seth Bennett. Meadows. Yo, you gotta say something. You're wide open. And we have some court issues as it looks like the drainage. And while the officials make sure that the court is in order, we'll let you know that at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, the sports medicine team doesn't treat the pain from sports injuries. They work with young athletes to fix the problem and teach them proper sports mechanics. When you choose Children's, you're in the hands of specialists who understand how to help young athletes get back in the game. Visit choa.org slash sportsmed to learn more. And the officials here are taping up. Spot on the court, this was loose yesterday. I saw one of the players fix it, now the official's hey, getting involved. Where is, Matt. And Matt, we'll see how that tape Justin holds is. when guys are running all over it today. Hey, we're gonna go horns, Will. Tied horns. So under a minute to go here, Charlotte Christian's extended their lead out to seven. Holy Essence, couple unforced turnovers, couple missed looks and, or missed shots on the inside. Allowing Charlotte Christian to stay in control of this game. Harrison Powell gets it into Enos, right back to Powell. Freshman's checked there by Logan Jones. Jones had an assist on that last. Nice bucket, Powell middle, strong, and pulled down by the big man, Blake Preston. Swings it over, driving inside. Good ball movement by this Charlotte Knights team. Shot, top of the key, strong rebound to Wilson. Nice between the legs move to keep it. Layup by oh, Garrison Powell up and under goes. Nice move by oh, the ninth grader. 10 seconds to go here, ball's in the hand of Therrington. He averaged 20 points per game last year behind the back pass. Kick out three, they're driving baseline and we're going to get a block call. So very patient there on the last possession for Charlotte Christian. And it'll be in underneath inbounds with 2.9 on the clock. Shot from Therrington goes. Give him all three of those. And I mentioned he was scoreless, and he's scoreless no more. J.C. Therrington 
at the buzzer, extends this lead out to eight, biggest of the game. That'll end our first quarter here at Holiday Hoops Giving. We'll be back on SUV TV right after this. The 2017 Holiday Hoops Giving is brought to you by Adidas, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Stat Row, Atlanta Tip Off Club, and CBA Sports. Love being a leader. Because I like to punish people. I think the big thing is just taking the right shot. Just to embarrass people. I'm a beast. I do my thing whenever I'm putting on someone's neck. My dog's going to be the best in four years. And we're back here on SUV TV's coverage of the 2017 Holiday Hoops Given. For those viewing at home in the state of Georgia who may not be familiar with Charlotte Christian, we'll let you know a little bit about him. 22 and eight last season, a one point loss in the quarterfinals to Cannon. Tough loss for them coming into this game. Three and zero though, we talked about 17th year head coach Sean Brown. And look for guys like JC Therrington, Seth Bennett, and Blake Preston to be there. Stars all night long and a star for Holy Innocence, Garrison Powell. Hits three, coming back the other end. Three's no good. Rebound to Holy Innocence momentarily. Look inside to Preston and it's gonna be an and one opportunity for him. Second, or excuse me, three point play is good. And the lead out, excuse me, staying at eight. Wilson with the ball up top. Two freshmen on the floor right now for this Holy Innocence team. Two of their three guards just in the ninth grade. Meadows to Powell, Powell too strong on that one. Rebound to Ifasa. He's gonna look to push the action and gets himself in traffic and he's gonna draw contact. Michael Tubbs checks in for the first time tonight. We mentioned yesterday. Wide receiver and defensive back on the football team. Has 10 Division I football offers. Didn't play basketball in his junior year. Played his first two years. Back on the court for his final season. And we're going to have a foul underneath. They're going to get Todd Enos battling under the bucket. His first foul of the game. They're going to need Enos to stay out of foul trouble. He's their biggest guy. You see him with his hand stretched out high. Still not tall enough to reach Blake Preston. And they go into Preston, he can't handle it, but he Fossa finds it, elbow jumper, no good. Preston momentarily had the rebound, drew a foul. And now that's three fouls in a row for Holy Innocence on this one possession. Getting them close to the bonus here early in this opening quarter. They go inside to Hudson now Therrington driving the lane. Preston just inside the two-point line. Hits it, excuse me, just out the three-point line. It's a two-pointer. Blake Preston now has nine. He had just under 20 in their win yesterday to go along with a handful of blocks. You gotta dive, look at Todd. Tubbs up top, they swing at Meadows for three, just short. That's a good look though for the senior. We saw him knock down. Couple threes yesterday, already has one early in this game. Therrington attack and they go inside to Preston. Now they got a switch and Wilson's on the big man. They double down on him, good job forcing that turnover. 
Meadows running through contact, no thing called. Now to Wilson, Charlotte Christian still in this 3-2 zone look. Trusting their big men underneath to be rebounders. Taking away the outside look for Holy Innocence. And Mikel Tubbs working along the, the free throw line, looking for the ball. They can't find a way to get it inside to him. Long three from Wilson, short and rebound to Preston. Settled for that shot on that possession. Gotta work that ball into that free throw line to force the guys up top to turn their heads of the zone and crossover dribble just off the hands of Ifasa. It'll go back to the Golden Bears, down 10, 5, 25 to go here in the second quarter. Dribble handoff across the top to Meadows. Smith on the wing. Coach wanting his guys to get more involved. They try to go inside to Tubbs, can't handle. It was the right idea, but just a little bit out of the reach of the senior. Drive by Bennett, no good. Tip by Preston, no good. Wilson pushing. Nice behind the back dribble, pulls up around the free throw line. Too strong, can't get it to go. Pulled down by Paul Hudson. Therrington drives high off the glass, gets it to go. That's five points for Therrington. Smith kicks out, corner three, too strong. That was off the hands of Enos. And Enos momentarily took it away. Now they do, Meadows. Mid-range, rims out, good look. Nice rebound by Mikel Tubbs. And they'll reset. Time out. Three is good by Meadows and immediately coach is gonna call a timeout. So three threes here for Matt Meadows, keeping Holy Innocence in this thing. We'll take a quick break along with these teams here at Holiday Hoops Given on SUV TV. I got a high ankle sprain going for a rebound. Injuries are part of play. I got hit catching a pass and broke my collarbone. So it's good to know that the sports medicine doctors, therapists, and athletic trainers at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta are experts at treating young athletes. If your child suffers any kind of sports related injury, I got hit and dislocated my shoulder. Bring him to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Back here on SUV TV's coverage of the 2017 Holiday Hoops Giving event here at Holy Innocence Episcopal School in Atlanta, Georgia. It's Charlotte Christian with a nine point lead over the host school, Fire Holy Innocence, right now. What's the circle, Matt? Therrington handles JC Therrington, just a junior, drawing a lot of college interest. Kick out three, no good by Bennett. Two Holy Innocence guys fought for that rebound. And a little bit of a late foul call there. But they're gonna get 23 going, or excuse me, getting contact on that shot. That's Alex Hyatt with the foul. It'll send number two, Logan Jones, to the line. Jones' first free throw short off the front rim. Second free throw for the 6'1 senior. Is good. So extends that lead back out to double digits. Too late now. It's too late. 
in the zone now. Coming off the screen of Smith is Powell getting to the inside contact. And I think we're gonna have a block. Yep, we will. So foul called there. Nice job, Powell penetrating the zone. First time they've done that this quarter, it seems. Powell's first trip to the line, he gets it to go. We are rotating. We're not just staying on one guy. Yesterday, Powell was four or four from the free throw line, but only shot three of 11 from the field. And he gets his second to go. So now Hole Innocent showing some full court pressure, trying to create a few turnovers. High lob almost hit us right in the face. And look inside there, they do, they do force turnover. Alex Hyatt comes away with it and smartly slows it down as they didn't have numbers. Look to the corner, nice drive by Powell, poked away from behind. And we're gonna have a kicked ball that will stay with the Golden Bears for a baseline out of bounds. Alex, turn around, you're open. They got to get the ball in bounds, and it's taken away. The long arms of Garrett Schrader tipped it, and on the other end, no good. Rebound to Mikel Tubbs. He's pushing transition, and looked like Meadows got hit across the top of the head on that layup attempt to head to the free throw line. Why just throw my ball in bounds? Hey, you got an issue? Matt Meadows at the line. Hey, throw it off the guy. Alex. Matt Meadows to the line. He's got three three-pointers made already today. Looking to get to double digits with these two free throws. And gets the roll there, give him 10. Matt Meadows, just a five foot nine senior, shoots the ball well. Had a nice game yesterday with 23 points, his season high. And gets a second to go. They get to J.C. Therrington, and they break the press quickly. Two on one on the backside, lob. And out of the reach of the big man, number 12, Blake Preston. Even 6'9", couldn't get all the way up for that one. Spread, run it right first. Come on, stay up, Josh. Move it, move it. It's too slow, move it. Mikel Tubbs gets in the middle, kicks it out to Meadows. And Meadows lost it briefly, and that's going to stay with Holy Innocence. Under three minutes to go here before the half. Six-point lead for Charlotte Christian. They've been playing this 3-2 zone most of the day. It's given Holy Innocence some trouble on the offensive end. They're trying to get it to that free throw line elbow area, but having a little difficulty doing it. It's Hyatt in the corner, skips it up top. Nice ball movement, Meadows catch, shoot for three. Just off, and Josh Smith, nice rebound underneath, and they're gonna call him for a travel before he can even get that shot off. A nice offensive rebound, but just shuffled his feet too much. And they lob that one up to Preston. He can't get it to go. Offensive rebound. And Logan Jones will head back to the free throw line. First free throw short. Second free throw also off. And that rebound pulled down by Smith, his second. Look at Mike. Don't force it. Josh Smith up top to Hyatt. Powell wants it in the corner. They can't get it to him just yet. Checking in the game for the first time. Number 21, McNair. Sawicki. 
And a turnover, it'll go to Charlotte Christian. Logan Jones with the ball, skip over to Therrington. Therrington attacks, finds a man underneath. Nice look and easy layup for Schrader. Nice pass from the point guard, Therrington. And taken away by Schrader, and he's gonna return the favor to Therrington, but he can't finish too strong. On oh, that fast break layup attempt. Behind the back dribble from Powell, and he created a lot of contact. And hey, it's... Garrison! Garrison! We can't make the pass into the post on the first pass. Here's Powell head to the free throw line for a one and one situation. Chad McPherson will check back in. We saw McPherson's ability to shoot the three ball hey, yesterday. Man which would certainly give Holy Innocence an advantage against this 3-2 zone that they've struggled to figure out in this first half. Powell's first shot is good. We mentioned imperfect from the free throw stripe yesterday. Senior McNair Sawicki on the court for the first time today. Second from Powell is good. They're going up, he fought the skies for that one. Skips it across, now in the corner with Jones. They go inside to Preston. Preston, nice dish to he fought for a finish and one. Nice passing out of the big man. Fossa will head to the line. To complete the three point play, 108 to go here in the First half, eight point lead for Charlotte Christian, looking to extend it to nine. It's been as large as 10 in this game. Foss's free throw, no good, nice rebound by Smith. Smith has Therrington on his back, he's trapped, does a nice job moving it, McPherson in the corner. Smith drives, kick out, McPherson gets in the lane, floater, good! Nice move by Chad McPherson, just a junior. Stay solid. Stay solid. No trap. No trap, Mike. Stay with your man, Mike. Stay with ball, Mike. Mike, stay with ball. Under a minute to go here. McPherson showing pressure. Preston has the ball right in front of us. He's checked by Mikel Tubbs. Tubbs being active on defense. They skip it over to Jones. And it looks like Coach Brown telling Therrington, let's hold for one here as we're under 30 seconds to go. Josh Smith battling as best he can with Preston in the post. Preston, nice job finding the open man. Three is no good. Rebound to Swicky. And that pass is tipped. It's gonna stay with Holy Innocence. 11.4 to go, opportunity for Holy Innocence to get the last shot of this quarter and cut into that lead. A three would make it only a three point Advantage for Charlotte Christian. That one turned over on the baseline and it's gonna stay with Holy Innocence. Eight point seven to go. And they get it into Garrison Powell. Powell, under five, goes inside to Tubbs. Tubbs finds John, nice ball movement. Too close to half, Mikel Tubbs finds Josh Smith, and it makes it a four point game leading, or taking us into the half. Charlotte Christian, 32, 28. A pretty quick move in first quarter, and Charlotte Christian held the lead throughout, but Holy Innocence battled back to make it a four point game. We'll have a 10 minute halftime, and we'll be right back with more holiday hoops giving coverage here on SUV TV. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Stat Row, Atlanta Tip Off Club, and CBA Sports. I got a high ankle sprain going for a rebound. Injuries are part of playing. 
I got hit catching a pass and broke my collarbone. So it's good to know that the sports medicine doctors, therapists, and athletic trainers at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta are experts at treating young athletes. If your child suffers any kind of sports-related injury, I got hit and dislocated my shoulder. Bring him to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Did you know that you can have all kinds of delicious food from your favorite local restaurants delivered right to your door? I know, I just blew your mind. All you have to do is go to choicestoyou.com. Choose from a list of great local restaurants, pick what you want right from their menu, and Choices to You will deliver it to your home or office. It's that easy. Get real restaurant food from the places you love delivered right to your door. Choicestoyou.com. Eat out without going out.
Welcome back to SUV TV's 2017 coverage of Holiday Hoops Given. We're about to start our second half here between Charlotte Christian and the host school Holy Innocence Golden Bears. Charlotte Christian leads 32-28 after our first two quarters of play. Holy Innocence shot 50% in the first half, as did Charlotte Christian from inside the two-point line. Excuse me, that was first quarter. First half, Holy Innocence shot 43%, as did Charlotte Christian. And inside the big man, he's gonna call for a walk. He turns it over. That big man is Blake Preston. He had nine points and seven rebounds in that first half. The 6'9 senior committed to play at Liberty has been impressive thus far. And Garrison Powell's going to carry it across for the Golden Bears. Powell had nine first half points. Matt Meadows had eight. Powell with the ball. It's a man to man for Charlotte Christian. We saw a 3 2 out of them a lot. In that first half, nice take by Josh Smith. Coach Collins want to contact, nothing called, going the other way. It's Ifasa pushing the action. Right hand and a late foul call coming down. Good job, Josh. Way to be angry about it. Tough call there, feels like. Got called on one end, didn't get called on the other. And we see in the game for the first time for Holy Innocence, number 33, Owen Dunn. Just a sophomore. 6-1 guard. First free throw by E. Foss is good. Gives him seven points. Why you going to Owen side? Second from E. Foss is no good. McPherson grabs that rebound. Now press showing from Charlotte Christian, and they get it to McPherson. He turns it over, he Foss intercepts that one, ahead to Therrington, Therrington corrals it. Nice ball movement, and it ends with a dunk for number four, Paul Hudson. Give the assist to 21. That was Seth Bennett. Rebound to Therrington, he's off and running with it. Gives it up to Bennett again, and good defense there by Chad McPherson, but he gets called for a foul. And Seth Bennett will head to the line. Hey, it doesn't make sense that I have to ask where's middle every time. First free throw is no good. Owen, Owen. Charlotte Christian shot three of eight from the free throw line in that first half. On the flip side, Holy Innocence six of six. It helped keep him in the game. Seven points, 35-28, the Charlotte Christian lead. Bennett's second is good. Middle. Reverse it. So now this full court pressure, a little bit of a 2-2-1. Two, two, full court pressure, McPherson in the corner. He's trapped and they turn it right back over. Seth Bennett, great job of anticipation. Mikel Tubbs frees that ball loose briefly. And we're gonna have a three second call. Alex Hyatt will bring it in again. We see the 2 2 1 pressure. Back man is the big man, Blake Preston. Stay there, Mike. Skip it. Come on. Stay there. Here comes the trap. Nice ball movement. Smith in the corner. Dribbles through some traffic. Hyatt inside. Kicks it out. McPherson pulls it out. And now Holy Innocence will set in their offense a little bit. This is the first time Holy Innocence has gotten a settled possession in this half. Just over two minutes in the quarter. Nice movement to Hyatt. Hyatt between the legs, dribble, pull up three. Good, Alex Hyatt, give him three points. He's got six now. And Hyatt almost intercepts that one. Hey, hey, active head. 
So Hyatt will pressure the inbounder. They go right inside of the big man. Turns, nice block, and they're gonna get Alex Hyatt coming for that block on Blake Preston. Good health defense, though. Five point game, 36-31. See Hyatt coming to double here. Looked like he may have just gotten that right hand when he tried to swat it away. Preston at the line. The 6'9 senior leaves that one short. That's Preston's first, excuse me, second free throw attempt of the game. He made his earlier to complete a three-point play. Rebound and go. We got no time to let him set up in their trap. Preston gives him 10. Stay middle. Chad, go corner. Chad, go corner now. Go corner. Stay there. And Holansitz breaks the press. Alex Hyatt for three in the corner. Too strong on that one. And rebound goes to Ifasa. And opportunity for transition here. And looks like. They're gonna get the freshman Powell reaching in there. And they're gonna say it was on the way up and give him two shots. So the junior 6'3 guard, Seth Bennett heads to the line. Hey guys, can we get a fast inbound and a pass out of bounds? First one is good. Coach Collins wanting to get that ball in fast to not allow the Knights to set up their press. Chad, go deep corner if it's opposite you. Second free throw for Bennett is good. He's got eight now. They quickly get it in, and now they're going to have an opportunity to hit a three on two. And Mikel Tubbs just a little bit indecisive there. And Garrison Powell momentarily had it back. Farrington on the ground. It should be wholly innocent to fall, and it is. Good hustle by J.C. Therrington, just couldn't quite corral that ball as it rolled out of bounds. One four high, it's okay. Get the on the elbow, Alex. Mike, elbow, move the ball, move the ball. Josh Smith with a high dribble inside to Tubbs. Tubbs working on the big man. Trying to draw contact, nothing in there is gonna be contact as Garrison Powell went up strong with that one. He'll get two on the line. They're going to get Paul Hudson. Powell was perfect from the line in the first half, but misses that one. That's Holanzas' first miss from the charity stripe today. 39-31, Charlotte Christian lead, 442 to go. In our third quarter here at the 2017 Holiday Hoops Given. Thanks for being part of our SUV TV broadcast. We hope we're getting some viewers from Charlotte checking out your nights as they seem to stay in control of this game, have been from the opening tip. And two on one, Darrington lob, Preston throws it down. He was calling for that lob, and Darrington gave it right to him for his second assist. And turnover, and right back over his two Charlotte Christian players ran into each other. Alex Hyatt's gonna press contact. And he'll head to the free throw line. Nice job going into the body of the big man, Blake Preston. And we see the alley-oop here. You can see Preston pointing for, give it to me, give it to me. And Therrington gives it right to him for the two-handed jam. Hyatt at the line. And that one a little strong off the back iron, so... We mentioned it, six for six in the first half from the free throw line. Now, one for three. High at second is through. Give him seven points. Who looked like it could have been a travel, nothing called there. Nice bounce pass by Fossa, knocked away from Holy by Holy Innocence, and it's going to stay with Charlotte Christian. Let's 
Sub, sub, sub. Mike. Freshman, tw number 22, Landon Cardian coming in for his first action of the game. He's going to spell Mikel Tubbs. Hey, front the post. Good work. Give me a breather. Give me a breather. Front it. Hey, Landon, get down on the block, Landon. Three seconds. Good, Josh. And Garrison Powell poked it away, but couldn't chase it down for one out of bounds. Poked it away from the junior Ifasa. Iru San Swam. We're going with Ifasa for the broadcast. Keep things moving along. JC Therrington checked by Chad McPherson. They go inside to Schrader. Schrader's checked by Cardian. Cardian does a nice job staying in front and forced the turnover. Alex Hyatt comes away with it ahead to McPherson. McPherson too strong on that layup. Ifasa pulls down the rebound. Now they're going the other way. Therrington's right hand is good. J.C. Therrington, his first points of this half. Extends the lead out to 11. Garrison Powell, nice behind the back dribble, gets in the middle. And a late foul call. I think they're going to get Blake Preston reaching in. Powell will head to the line. Now they're going to get 21, not 32. 21 is Seth Bennett. Garrison Powell up and through on his first, his 10th point of the night. Second free throw falls for Powell. Darrington, top of the key for three is good. Charlotte Christian's been doing a nice job moving the ball all night, getting good looks from the perimeter. Missed a handful in the first half, but Darrington knocks down that opportunity. Pushing transitions, Therrington between the legs, dribble, gets a trap, but moves it along. And we're going to have a timeout called by Charlotte Christian, and we'll take a quick break with them here on SUV TV's coverage of the 2017 Holiday Hoops Given. The 2017 Holiday Hoops Given is brought to you by Adidas, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Stat Row, Atlanta Tip-Off Club, and CBA Sports. If your school's gym floor took a selfie, how would it look? In addition to new court construction, CBA offers maintenance services that can help your court look and feel better. Visit cbasports.com today to schedule a consultation or learn more. And back with the action. It's a turnover, and it's going to be Holy Innocence ball for an out-of-bounds underneath. So Alex Hyatt will bring it in from deep in the corner. Meadows, nice play, goes underneath, but can't get it to fall. Battles back for a rebound and a quick jump ball called. And they get the ball in bounds. His pal doesn't touch it before he goes over. Nice movement here by Holy Innocence, but that pass is tipped away. Hyatt brings it out in front of us, up to Meadows, up top. Now it's a 2-3 zone out of Charlotte Christian. They trap immediately. Powell tries to step through, but turns it over. Meadows almost taking that one away. Therrington open three from the wing. Good. 
give the assist to Afasa. Darrington coming alive here in this third quarter. He's got eight third quarter points. Two threes, a layup, and also a nice alley for Blake Preston's oop. They bring the ball inbounds. They try to, they get it to Powell. He goes through the middle, contact, and he's gonna head to the free throw line. So Garrison Powell continuing to attack and getting some trips to the free throw line. The lead's been extended out to 15 by Charlotte Christian. Powell's first attempt rattles in. Under two to go here in the third quarter. Charlotte Christian slowly extending their halftime lead. Was four, it's up to 14 now. Powell makes, both make it 13 point lead. Coach Collins pleading with his guys to dig in and play some defense. They want to come back, it's gonna to have to start on the defensive end. Crowd coming to life a little bit behind us. In the corner, Darrington drives baseline. Nice defense by Cardi in. Cardi in slips a little bit, pops back up. Find a man, find a man. Hand up, hand up. Alex, help side. Kick out to Darrington. A nice patient Denied possession man. here from Charlotte Denied Christian. Meadows checked up on Darrington. Cardi in reaching for it, and that's a foul. On the floor, only the fifth team foul. Still two away from the bonus. Once the push off, sell the push off. Sell the push off. They go into the post to Blake Preston, and he draws a foul. Why is it taking you so long to go help? Sprint to the help. Blake Preston is line shooting two. So Preston will head to the foul line. Three dribbles, and the right-hander puts it up and through. And we're gonna have a lane violation on Charlotte Christian, so he's not even gonna have a chance to shoot a second. He's talked about it, Blake Preston, 6'9", headed to Liberty to play next year. Skip it over the top to Hyatt. He's gonna trap him along the wing. Hyatt gets to the middle, pulls up from the elbow, too strong. Rebound by Smith, he wants to go back up, kicks it out to Powell, Powell for three from the corner, no good. Meadows with an offensive rebound. Off the pick from Cardi and into the corner. Hyatt, long two, gets it to go. Give that assist to Powell. There's, yeah, to Garrison Powell. Smith trap goes inside to Cardi and Cardi and nice dish underneath Hyatt and one. Hyatt with nine points, been playing well. Chance to cut this back to single digits with the free throw here by Hyatt. And he does. So 10 points for Hyatt. Under 10 to go here in this third quarter. Fossa with it on the right wing. 
Now he drives. I don't think he knows. There's very little time left, and they don't. So a nice defense to stop there by Holy Innocence. Takes this into a nine-point game, heading into our fourth and final quarter. We'll be back with Holiday Hoops given here on SUV TV right after this. I got a high ankle sprain going for a rebound. Injuries are part of playing. I got hit catching a pass and broke my collarbone. So it's good to know that the sports medicine doctors, therapists, and athletic trainers at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta are experts at treating young athletes. If your child suffers any kind of sports-related injury, I got hit and dislocated my shoulder. Bring him to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Hi everybody, I'm Sam Crenshaw reminding you about the inaugural Hawks Stasis Holiday Tip-Off Classic. It comes your way December 21st through 23rd at North Cross High School. Here's what the coaches have to say. When you put those two names in front of something, it is going to be run first class. Uh, the level of competition is going to be very good. Crowds are going to be real good over here. So it's just really exciting for us to be in it and be able to play that first night. Uh, in it right here and so and, you know and for me an opportunity to come back and and uh, coach in this facility again is really special now your team can partner with stat row fourth quarter just underway here in atlanta georgia 2017 holiday hoops giving you're watching live on suv tv jc therrington gets things started here in the fourth quarter with a three He's been hot in this second half, only five first half points. He's up to 16 already. Garrison Powell with it on the right wing, up top, high it to the corner with Meadows. Meadows trying to drive baseline, Preston takes it away. Inside, Powell off the glass, no good. Josh Smith soaring for a rebound, and he's been rebounded all night, but turns it over. And going away with it is 21, Seth Bennett. He's headed down court and corner three. J.C. Therrington, good. Nice look from Bennett on that cross court pass. Meadows with it, drives in the lane, lob, and that's going to be too high for Enos. Smith saves it, he does. High it just inside the three point line, short. Lake Preston with the rebound. And we're going to have a foul. And you hear Coach Collins telling him, Darrington, one of the best shooters in the country, came into yesterday's game, averaging 20 and a half points per game. A nice win for this team yesterday over Pebblebrook. 14, excuse me, 15 point lead right now. Blake Preston at the line, shooting one and one, extends that lead out to 16 and extends his point total to 14. Preston, second strong off the back iron, tipped away, and he's going to corral his own miss. Core three, Darrington, good. This man has been hot in the second half. Hyatt with it on the wing, back up top to Smith. 3-2 zone out of Charlotte. Christian Smith gets his man in the air and makes it. Point seven and eight for Josh Smith on the evening, excuse me, on the morning, on the early afternoon. We're here all day on SUV TV. Great high school basketball from the state of Georgia, from the state of Alabama, state of Florida, state of North Carolina, New York. We got teams from all over and you can see them all here on SUV TV, nice rebound by Hyatt, and he draws a foul. Hey, Garrison, you can't chase your man. You gotta see the ball. Do you understand? And checking in is McPherson, as well as the sophomore Owen Dunn. Hyatt and Garrison Powell will take a break. Lead out to 17, biggest of the game. They get it to Enos at the elbow, turn and shoot from the left. He can't get it to fall. 
Rebound to Schrader. Oh, McPherson a little out of control and timeout called by Charlotte Christian as they were struggling to handle that pressure. And we'll take a timeout with them here on SUV TV's coverage of the 2017 Holiday Hoops Given. And we're back here at the 2017 Holiday Hoops given at Holy Innocence Episcopal School. Thanks for tuning in to our broadcast here on SUV TV. Charlotte Christian leading by 17 over Holy Innocence. It's been the J.C. Therrington show in the second half. He had a quiet five first half points, didn't score till the final seconds at the buzzer the first quarter. And since then, he's been all over it and give him an assist there as the three goes down for Seth Bennett. So Therrington with 17 second half points, three from Owen Dunn, no good. Rebound should go to Charlotte Christian. I believe that was the right call. Looked like Josh Smith poked that one out of bounds. So Holy Innocence with some full court pressure, five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Todd Enos pressuring the ball. Therrington gets it, Meadows went for the steal. Therrington, too, can't get it to go. Opportunity for the alley-oop to Preston. Schrader grabbed the miss. Three, no good by Bennett, and we're gonna have a push underneath. It's gonna go against Paul Hudson, I believe. Nope, it's Owen Dunn for Holy Innocence. So Hudson will have one and one. Hudson, a transfer from South Mecklenburg. Now with Charlotte Christian. Trying to help them make a deeper run than their quarterfinal last year, 22-8. and eight. A season ago, coming into today's game, 3-0. and oh. Wins over Victory Christian Center in Kings Mountain out of North Carolina. And of course, the win yesterday here at Holiday Hoops Giving. Front end is missed. Chad McPherson clears the rebound. McPherson, even for being just 5'11", has got a handful of rebounds today. 3-2 zone, out of Charlotte Christian Meadows, top of the key, long three, just short, rebound two. Preston on the ground briefly, and he saves it to his teammate Bennett. Darrington with it. Three seconds. Preston at the free throw line, resets it out to Darrington. Pick and roll game, Schrader in the corner, driving baseline, challenged by Enos, finishing through the contact. Garrett Schrader, he'll head to the line to complete the three-point play. So J.C. Therrington, 22 points, three assists, two rebounds, and he's partnered up with the big man, Blake Preston, who's put in 14 points to go along with 10 rebounds and two assists. He may have passed out of the post pretty well in that first half when Holy Innocence was doubling down on him a lot. 2-3 zone now for Charlotte Christian. Long three, Meadows good. Matt Meadows, his first points of this second half. He's got 11 in the game now. Hard screen there from Schrader. Definitely the right call. He leaned in. I'm surprised he's even arguing that one. And I believe Schrader fouled out. He did, so maybe lowering that shoulder on the pick was just a little bit of sign of frustration. Only seven points for Schrader in this one. 
but his team leading by 20, so he can't be too upset. Balls with Wilson up top. Now Meadows just hit a three on the last possession. Settles, excuse me, pulls up for that one. And that one no good. J.C. Therrington bounce pass to Ifasa. Now back to Therrington, wide open, three. No good, a shocking miss. Wilson soars for that rebound. Meadows drives, baseline. Contact, nothing called. Bennett corrals that rebound. That's his 12th rebound of the night. Therrington, Ifasa, mid-range, good. J.C. Therrington showing his ability to distribute the ball as well as being a scorer. Enos with the ball in the wing, goes inside. They kick it back out. Chad McPherson driving baseline, and they're going to get him for a travel. Uh, that's a tough call, and Coach Collins certainly doesn't agree either. Looked like he had his right foot in the air the whole time. It's a 22-point lead here for Charlotte Christian. The Knights have led all game long, 2.41 to go here in the fourth quarter. They get it in, and a travel to return the favor is called on Logan Jones. I know officials say there's no such thing as a makeup call, but every now and then you wonder if that's true. And Coach Collins going deep into his bench, getting some guys, some, some minutes here. McNair Sawicki, we saw him in the first half, but checking in for the first time is number 15, Ellis Owen, a junior. And a quick turnover there is J.C. Thering. Ten steps right in the passing lane, right-handed layup to finish. Great take there from the junior. Only a junior, Therrington. He's going to be on a lot of coaches' radars. He's already on a handful of them. Mercer, App State, Liberty, just to name a few. So Wiki drives to his right along the baseline, tried to make a one-handed pass, and that one got away from him. And then for the first time today, number 30, Jerry Drummond. A junior guard. Ball's with Ifasa McPherson running with him. Behind the back dribble from Ifasa causes McPherson to slip. Impressive stop of direction and ball handling inside. Hudson kicks out mid-range. Jackson goes, excuse me, Jones, not Jackson for two there. He's now got three points. His first field goal of the game, McPherson. It's up top with Wilson. Got to figure out who the score is going to be with this younger group on the court. Wiki three, no good. Hustle there, couldn't be saved. It was Ellis Owen trying to save it. And now checking, heading to the scorer's table. Are some more reinforcements. for Holy Innocence and Landon Cardian is gonna check in and he's gonna spell Justin Wilson, the freshman who played a lot of minutes today. Pretty, looked good at times, didn't get on the board, but had a couple steals, a couple rebounds. Had a did good job digging in defensively. Ifasa with the ball, we're under 90 seconds to go here. Hudson, lefty, no good, rebound to Holy Innocence, and then fouled, pulling in that rebound was Will Domestic. Domestic has two rebounds today. Excuse me, three rebounds. Looking for his first points, though. The senior. Good on the front end of the one and one. Second, no good. Rebound to Charlotte Catholic. On the back dribble by Fossa again. 
And now we've got a minute on the clock. Jones just trying to dribble out some clock. 72-47 lead here. And a reach in on Holy Innocence. Just extending this game a little bit longer. It'll be a one and one. Excuse me, that's the 10th team foul, so double bonus. First is good for the junior, his 10th point of the night. Second good as well. So the lead 74-47, under a minute to go here for Holy Innocence. Both teams with a lot of their second unit guys in, getting them some reps. Long three strong off the back iron. Rebound, is it gonna be a jump ball? It will be, and it'll stay with Holy Innocence. That was a long three there from Ellis Owen off the back iron. And it sounds like coach is telling him to shoot. Owen oh, turns it over. Foster, that looked like a carry, and it was. Couldn't quite corral. No foul. And you see Coach Sean Brown there telling me Foster, just go down to the other end of the court. It's okay. We've got this one. And turned over there. And they're gonna call jump ball. It's gonna go to Charlotte Christian anyways. So the Knights will remain undefeated. Move to four and zero on the season. Holy Innocence will fall to one and three. But their last two losses against very quality opponents in Eagles Landing Christian and Charlotte Christian today. Holy Innocence made back-to-back -back quarterfinal appearances in Class A private, looking to make a trip a little further this season. Rebound to Hudson, block inside by Cardian. And this game just continues to go on a little bit here as Hudson will head to the free throw line. I think Hudson got two rebounds in there. Hudson short off the front of the rim. Hudson, second bounces in off the front of the rim. And that'll make it a 28 point lead. Final seconds, three, two, one. It'll tick away and that'll be our final score. Here from Holiday Hoops Given in our main gym, our second game of the day, our first boys game ends with the final score. Charlotte Christian, 75. Holy Innocence, 47. It was very impressive showing out of Charlotte Christian. The junior, J.C. Therrington, finished with 24 points to go along with five assists. And the big man headed to Liberty, Blake Preston, finished with 14 points to go along with 12 rebounds and had a couple assists out of the post. Very impressive showing for Charlotte Christian, as we said, making a, a trip down to Atlanta for their holiday break. Our next game on slate. We'll tip off at 1 o'clock. It's going to be Newton versus Pebblebrook. It should be a good one, and it'll be right here on SUV TV. So don't go anywhere. We're just about 15 minutes away from that. Maybe go get you a cold drink or a sandwich, but then be right back here. SUV TV's coverage of the 2017 Holiday Hoops Giving. 